Hi folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a mocking beast uh, from Reaper Miniatures. Also, you might call it a mimic. So uh, this is the base model, and I went ahead and just started with a base coat of uh, dark brown. Uh, all of the paint colors will be up on the screen. So what I'm starting with here is doing the wood graining. I find I can be a little bit, I don't have to be quite exact with the dry brush. Uh, if I start out with the wood grain. Um, and so there you go. There's the first bit of wood grain. And then I actually came back in with a second uh, color of brown here to add a little bit of variety. Um, and that helps make the wood grain look a little bit more realistic. So there you can see it uh, all applied. And you can see there's a little bit of variety there, uh, which real wood would have that slight variety to it. Alright, so now I'm going back through and I'm painting all the parts that are metal, the metal kind of bracing sides, whatever they're called, on the chest. And I'm just painting it with this light gray uh, so that the metallic paint has a little bit better of a base uh, and that helps it stand out from the brown wood grain. Um, so I'm just taking my time and going through and painting all of this uh, bits here. Um, and I like doing this oftentimes with uh, base coats where I'll kind of do some of the details and then I'll go back in with another base coat. Uh, and I find that it just helps the colors pop and have a little bit more uh, differentiating between the colors, if that makes sense. All right, so now I'm gonna go back through with this red, and I'm basically just kind of doing the gums. Now actually looking uh, at it once I've finished it up, I probably would have done a little bit more red uh, like between the teeth, but that's fine. You live and you learn. All right, so there you go. You can kind of see that uh, gum bit there. And now I'm just going through with some yellow to paint the gold that is in the Mimic to give that a base. And then I'll end up going back through with a couple different metallics uh, to make that shiny. All right, so now I'm going through and I'm just hitting these kind of um, bumpy bits, kind of where you, the Mimic is uh, transforming from the chest into whatever mimics look like, um, as well as going back over the gums a little bit. So, um, so there you can see all of that. And now I'm just going through and I'm very carefully painting the teeth. Now, and I did these individually and um, probably could have gone back and cleaned some of it up, uh, but I liked having the brown base for this because it really made the teeth stand out against the rest of it and the crevices where I couldn't get all of the white paint in actually kind of it helps those teeth uh, pop a little bit more. So, and this was really fun. Um, I haven't got really gotten to paint teeth <laughs> these big before. So it was fun figuring out. Uh, and I do turn the miniature kind of all over the place, trying to get different angles, because um, I did want to get a little bit of the teeth inside the Mimic so that, uh, you know, if you're not looking straight on, you can still, the teeth are still painted. All right, so there we go. We have all of the teeth painted. Uh, and now I'm just going back through with a silver to do all of the metal bits on the chest. And uh, just going back over all the parts I had painted gray. All right, and now uh, light change. I continued painting this the next day and had uh, daylight. So you can see the progress I've made so far. And now I'm going back through and I'm painting in the gold on the actual gold color onto that yellow that I had previously painted. And I did a couple layers of this to help make it pop. And I did add a little bit of like a copper and a silver. All right, so now I'm doing the uh, base and I'm gonna do the tongue in this dark purple. Uh, I just liked that look for the Mimic. It really gave it a not natural 
looking, um, you know, not a whole lot of things have purple tongues. And, uh, you know, I found using sticky tack and a cork is a really great way to hold on to it. And you can also use the sticky tack to attach it to something else when um, you need to get at a slightly different angle. So now I'm going back in uh, with a little bit lighter purple, a layer, uh, to hit up kind of all of the, the high spots, all of the parts that would get a little bit more light on that purple. So you can see it a little bit. It's a little hard to see in this exact light, um, but it does bring a little bit more depth to that purple. And this is a technique that I'm using where I'm painting on a brass um, color and then I'm kind of smudging it off. And what this does is that it kind of makes the metal look a bit more worn and used. Um, I found that just painting the brass on, um, I got too much of it. So I just am smudging this off with my fingertips and that seems to kind of work the best. I don't have anything get stuck to it like if I was to use paper or anything like that. So there you go. All right, now I'm going back in with a dry brush with this really light purple to hit, again, all of these spots that would get the most light to really add that depth and dimension to the tongue and the little purple base. So there you go. So that tongue really seems to pop a lot more with that. And I did go back in and kind of tweak as I went. And I actually decided to also use this uh, dry brush color along those little bumps um, and along the eye stalks and kind of along the gum line. So that um, I found actually really helped it pop against the wood and made it look even more like, oh no, this is something that shouldn't be here. So I'm painting the skull that was in the box. I think that's a really cute thing. Uh, so there you can see that. And then I'm going to go through and do a second layer of the screaming skull on all of the teeth. And I did this because there were a couple spots where the first layer, um, you could see through it a little bit. And really I just did the center part. Uh, I wasn't as worried about getting all the way around because um, that again helps add a little bit more shape and dimension and really make those teeth pop out on this mini. So here I am going back in to paint the eyes. You'll see me do the orange base, but unfortunately my camera cut out. And so you don't get to see the rest of the eyes, which I'm so frustrated about because these are some of the best monster eyes I've done. Um, but if you're interested in seeing kind of how I do eyes, uh, especially like slightly larger eyes, let me know down in the comments and I can uh, do a video of all about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I always take my time with the eyes. I use a very small brush. Uh, I kind of double check it as I go. And uh, I've found it's easier to add paint than take it away. <laughs> so, all right. So there is the finished miniature. You can see the finished eyes and um, all the gold pieces painted in the base. And you know, looking at especially the still photos, uh, this mini isn't perfect. Uh, especially when you get really, really that up close. Um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And this is something that a lot of those small imperfections you wouldn't notice on a table. I think there is something to be said for at a certain point stepping back and saying, okay, I'm happy with this. It's done. Want to give a special thanks to all of our patrons, especially Arnie, Lainey, Sean, and Joan. If you're interested in becoming one of our patrons or checking out what the perks are, you can go to patreon.com slash roll for initiative and uh, possibly join our campaign. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know um, it, what kinds of miniatures you'd be interested to see in the future down in the comments, as well as if you'd be interested in seeing kind of how I do eyes. I know that's always a, a difficult thing to get right on miniatures, and I, uh, it's taken me a little bit of time to figure it out. Uh, so thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on Roll for Initiative. Bye!